Come over here. Over here, don't push me. He's rolling. Stop. Listening ears, thank you. Ah. What are they? Yeah. Hey, Tash. Stop. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Okay. Lakeda, I say to you, wait. Got to Andy back first. Safety first. Oh. This is an unusual gift that they sell down here. It is one of the largest markets that we have on a regular basis here on the Gold Coast. Oh, we can't the car. Oh, we can't the baby to Yeah, she can live there in the car park. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Gotcha. Back through main beach before yep, gotcha. back here at our duck stop. Along the way, we just ask that you will please remain seated, leaving your limbs inside the aqueduct at all times as we do travel quite close to other heavy vehicle signs and trees. As part of the marine transport requirements, we have flotation devices located on top of the roof. They're equipped with a hydrostatic wow. release system. We also have life jackets under the front seats, rear seats, and in overhead lockers. Emergency equipment down in the rear bench seat wow. and two bright orange wings down the back. Leave those lights ring, they're for me. Hey guys, don't forget to introduce me. Hi everyone, I'm the Aqueduct. That there was our Aqueduct guys and you will be hearing from him throughout our trip today. We just turned onto the surface paradise this oh. On the left hand side is the famous Pavel Mall. Named in honour of the late Jim Cabell, it's lined with bars, shops, cafes, restaurants and regular live performances from buskers lining the street at night. You're recording, Over on the right hand side is the Esplanade where we set up for our beachfront markets. As you guys can see, they're setting those up for today. Oh, they are on every Wednesday, Friday and Sunday oh, nights from about 4pm, 3pm oh. till 10pm. 
definitely worth coming down and checking out their um, one-off pieces and unusual gifts that they sell down here. It is one of the largest markets that we have on a regular basis here on the Gold Coast. A chook chook, yeah. Not quite a chook chook, but yeah. I forgot my beach rod. I'd see a wee wee there. <laughs> Sadie, sit back. sit back. Sit back and hold on. Sit back. Senor, sit back and hold on. See by the pylons, the water's running out of the river. Goes up through the bulb and out through the seaway. The water level in here is dropping. You can see it's already dropped almost a metre. 
the road if you like. Oh. A couple of hours? It's up to you. Yeah, he'll go a bit funny. One and a half metres difference between high and low time. We're just entering the Rank River on the other side here. The river starts in, uh, in Hinterland, which is only 40 kilometres away, which means it's a very short river. It is short, but it branches out to over 800 kilometres of man-made tidal canals. Living on the water is a very popular lifestyle here on our Gold Coast. Coming up in front of us, there on the left-hand side, is Paradise Waters, one of the first canal estates built on the river. Originally a sandbar back in the 60s. Developers turned that sandbar into a 300 waterfront home estate and sold the blocks off for $20,000 each. You should have snapped them up. I think you missed the boat. They're now selling for four or five million dollars each. If you Google Jackie Chan House, a picture of that house over there in front of us with the sweeping roof and a boat parked in front. It'll come up on your computer. They think that's where Jackie Chan stayed when he was in town doing the rush hour movies. That's not uncommon for celebrities to stay in waterfront homes. Uh, we had Dwayne the Rock Johnson staying around the corner on the Isle of Capri. The Rock was doing the movie in San Andreas here on the coast. And the Rock was paying $20,000 a week to stay in one of these waterfront homes. We well, used to have... Hey, buddy. Have, have fun. Quite a healthy movie industry here on the Gold Coast. Off. Until COVID struck, uh, we were in the process of getting Elvis the movie done. Uh, and uh, Tom Hanks was here to play the manager of Elvis, but he was struck down by COVID. He's had two weeks holiday in our hospital, North Coast Hospital, which is pretty funny because I think the nurses uh, rolled a, a Wilson volleyball in while he was in private, just, just to uh, keep him company while he was in isolation. <laughs> what? The reason why we are floating is because this is an original army duck. It's a Lark 5. It's an American military vehicle. Lark stands for Light Amphibious Resupply Cargo and a 5 ton capacity. These vehicles were built in 1956 by Westinghouse in America to carry military supplies and uh, personnel. In their original condition, they're too wide for Australian roads. Three metres is too wide. They have to be completely destroyed and rebuilt. That modification takes two years and $1.3 million. You won't see any of these uh, on the roads. Uh, we have all five that are in Australia and you're on duck number three at the moment. We have one duck in Airlie Beach and that's been put on uh, in hybrid. You can see by the pylons, the water's running out of the river. Goes up through the broad water and out through the seaway. The water level in here is dropping. We dropped almost a metre, and then half a metre go. Another on the other side here. The river starts uh, in Hinterland, which is only 40 kilometres away, which means it's a very short river. It is short, but it branches out to over 800 kilometres of man-made tidal canals. Living on the water is a very popular lifestyle here on our Gold Coast. Coming up in front of us, there on the left hand side, is Paradise Waters, one of the first canal estates built on the river. Originally a sandbar no. back in the 60s. Developers turned that sandbar into a 300 waterfront home right, estate and sold the blocks off for $20,000 each. You it's sure have them up. I think you missed the boat. They're now selling for four or five million dollars each. All of your whistles. If you Google Jackie Chan House, a picture of that house over there in front of us with the sweeping roof and the boat parked in front. <laughs> up on your computer, they think that's where Jackie Chan stayed when he was in town doing the rush hour movies. That's not uncommon for celebrities to stay in waterfront homes. Uh, we had Dwayne the Rock Johnson staying around the corner on the Isle of Capri. The Rock was doing the movie in San Andreas here on the coast. Whoa. And the Rock was paying $20,000 a week to stay in one of these waterfront homes. We used to have 
We still have uh, quite a healthy movie industry here on the Gold Coast. Until COVID struck, uh, we were in the process of getting Whoa. Elvis the movie done, uh, and uh, Tom Hanks was here to play the manager of Elvis, but he was struck down by COVID, and he's had two weeks holiday in our hospital, Gold Coast Hospital. Which is pretty funny because I think the nurses uh, rolled a, a Wilson volleyball in, Troy while he was in Ivan, just, just to um, keep him company while he was in isolation. Yeah, I'm going back. I don't want to drop my phone in. Oh, look at that house over there. That's the one I want. Sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Hi, hi, Mom. Hi, Ava. The reason why we are floating is because this is an original army dog. It's a Mark V, it's an American military vehicle. Lark stands for light amphibious resupply cargo and a five ton capacity. Oh. These vehicles were built in 1956 by Westinghouse in America to carry military supplies and uh, personnel. In their original condition, they're too wide for Australian roads. Three meters is too wide. They have to be completely destroyed and rebuilt. That modification takes two years and $1.3 million. You won't see any of these on, on the roads. Uh, we have all five that are in Australia and you're on duck number three at the moment. We have one duck in Airlie Beach and that's been put on in hibernation for the COVID. Airlie Beach is mainly predominantly cruise ship patrons. Yeah. Over on the right hand side, we've got the Southport Park, one of the most expensive areas on the river. This Oh, I just, just remember we're in the, in the open area. We just passed out of the six knot zone. We're in the open area so we can take the duck up to full speed. So if everybody's hanging on for a second, we'll just crank it up a bit. Here we go. There we go. All right, full speed. Don't let go fly away. On the right hand side, as I mentioned, Southport Park, very expensive area, beautiful homes, 13 houses, large blocks.
Look for Tom. Everything and it's like it never happened. So yeah, it's really when you, cool. When you watch the movie, you can see in the background the aqueduct going past with Caroline hanging over the side going, Johnny, 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 it's me. Don't, okay, don't, Sadia. Okay, guys, don't. So we will be approaching the boat ramp pretty soon, which means that once we're back on land, everyone must take their seats and infants back on mum and dad's laps. I'm going to come around and make sure we haven't lost anyone this tour. Hope not. Hope not. Two in a row, God. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking, guys. <laughs> what? Right. There you have it guys, that's how easy it is for the duck to become a bus again. We didn't even have to get the kids out to push us up the ramp. All you need is $1.3 million and two. resort guys is this one here on the right hand side it's paradise resort it features